ascending without a shot line. Using a shot line means that at the end of your dive, you need to return to your starting point, and this is why, during the open water training of this course, you will practice techniques of navigating in deep water. However, low visibility, currents or navigational errors could mean that you are unable to find the line on your return. You can prevent this from happening by learning to use a reel and line. If you do not use a line and reel, you will have to use the techniques for ascending without a shot line. If you are near a wall, you and your buddy should ascend keeping close to the wall. As well as being a reference point, you are also more protected from the passage of boats on the surface. To make a free ascent, get close to your buddy so that you are able to hold on to each other at any moment and begin the ascent at the correct rate. It is essential to signal to the support boat that you are not ascending up the shot line. It's best to do this immediately while still at depth by deploying a delayed surface marker bag. If you do not have a delayed surface marker bag, you must deploy a deco marker from the depth of the safety stop. Variation in lung volume is the most immediate way of controlling buoyancy, so to maintain your depth in mid-water, you must use your hovering skills. Remember to keep your hand on the BC deflation device, so you can dump air quickly if you begin ascending too quickly. Get into a comfortable position and constantly check your computer. In a situation when you do not have any support to help you maintain the correct depth, it is best to make the safety stop or any eventual emergency decompression at 5 meters, 15 feet, even if the computer indicates a shallower depth. This will allow for any accidental variation in depth due to difficulty in controlling buoyancy.